What's going on YouTube? It's me, Justin, aka Goodwill Hunter, and I'm coming back with another purge. Yes, I have the urge to purge. So, it's a lot of stuff. Got a lot of thrifts, a lot of thrifts, and a lot of thrifts. So, that's a lot of thrifts. And some GameStop, too. Um, don't, oh, I do have a trade package as well. And some dumpster diving, courtesy of Mr. OKG420. Rich, thanks. I always enjoy watching you dumpster dive. And uh, I usually don't find anything, but on that particular day, I actually did find something, and it was great. And uh, without your inspiration, man, I wouldn't have thought to even have considered looking in all those bags. But I did, and it paid off. If you haven't already, go out and get your limited-time Miller Lite throwback cans, man. They come in the pints. These things are great. I love them. Don't like the beer, but I like that it comes in pints. So cheers, drink up if you're able to, and uh, always be responsible when you're gaming. Don't be like me. All right, well, there's no rhyme or reason to anything I'm going to show you right now, so I'll tell you the story, but it's not going to be in order. If you hear a lot of rustling, it's probably all these stupid bags that I have laying right here. Well, hey, I like to start uh, ass backwards, so let's go right into some of the greatest things I've picked up. Um, I think everything I've pretty much picked up, uh, I, I do like. Um, I will resell some of it, and that's why I pick it up, because I know I can resell it. This, I'm definitely keeping. It is, yes, read that. It's the Street Fighter 15th Anniversary uh, Arcade Stick. Uh, I do have another one of these, so it's actually sitting over there. This one, unfortunately, when I went to go play it, the back micro switch didn't work, so I had to go and replace it because it does use uh, our official arcade uh, components. You can order new buttons from Suzu Hop. How do you order a new micro switch? Put it in, works fine. It's awesome, I love it. So now I have two of these. Unfortunately, the adapter I have for my PlayStation 3, it doesn't work. Now, I used the other one and it, on my old PS3, the, the uh, backwards compatible one did not want to work. Uh, plugged it into a regular PS2 and it worked fine, so some reason it didn't want to work with the backwards compatible one. Maybe it works with this new slim model PS3. I don't know. I haven't tried yet, but it would be awesome because this thing is badass. And uh, it has a memory card because you can also use it with the Xbox, the original Xbox. So it's with Xbox and uh, PlayStation 2. So it's awesome. And uh, I love it. Now I have two of them. But no friends. No friends at all to play fighting games with. So I picked up a Game Boy Color lot uh, yesterday at my local Goodwill. It came with six games and a Game Boy Color, but most importantly, it had the back cover. And uh, it's, I don't know, what color would you call that? Blue? Is that purple? I really can't tell. Can you tell? It looks kind of blue. But I think it's really purple. Uh, but it was $13, as I say, with six games. Um, you can kind of see the screen is in relatively pretty good condition. So aside from the stupid sticker that they stuck right to it, I think it'll be actually pretty good. Now, I haven't tested it, but I'm guessing it works because these things are like tanks and uh, no corrosion. The games that came with it were Men in Black, the series, Rugrats, the movie, Looney Tunes, Twub Twubble, Twubble, I don't know, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Special Color Edition, because it did come out for the original one, includes bonus game Pack Attack. I don't know if you guys saw that. Bonus game Pack Attack. Uh, we have the Game & Watch Gallery 2, which I was excited to see. And last but not least, A Bug's Life. So, two out of those six games are pretty decent. I'd probably just bundle them with... Uh, my old uh, Game Boy Color, the Kiwi Green, that's kind of grody, and uh, throw it up on eBay and uh, see if anyone wants it. I also found that same day, I found a PlayStation 2 Slim. Um, came with all the hookups, AV, uh, the AC, and uh, they wanted, I don't know if you can see that, 24 bucks. Um, I shoved another controller in there, because uh, I always like to have two of them, so I actually, you know, made out pretty good on this. 24, it's kind of, you know, still a little high, but it does have Madden, some Madden 2000 something in it, and uh, it did work, so that's always a plus. Uh, at the other thrift store that I always go to, um, I found a Genesis, I don't know if you can see that. It's a Genesis Model 2 with 
one controller. Um, the funny thing was, though, you can see that. So they had they had the price marked at 12 bucks on it, which is kind of weird. Uh, but I flipped it over. I don't know if you can see it. This is where it gets really kind of hard. I'll just rip it right off. On the other side, it was actually for three dollars and ninety-three cents. I asked the lady, hey, it's got 12 on one side and 3 on the other, what, what is it? She went to the manager and he said it was my lucky day and gave it to me for 4 bucks. So, Model 2 with one controller, uh, that's alright because I do have AC and RF for it, so that'll be another bundle. And I also found some cables, I got the uh, original Xbox AV cable, and uh, this one I was excited to find. It's a uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 component cable. Uh, not a composite, got the uh, red, green, blue, plus the two audio. So I don't know if my old CRT has a component, but I'll try. So I went to my local retro store on Friday, because that's what I do on Fridays. I tend to leave work early and go thrift or game finds. And uh, I went to my local thrift store, and for a buck, I picked up Nintendo Power. Uh, this is July, August, 1989, so it's before they actually started giving them volume numbers. And uh, he only wanted a buck because the uh, front cover is obviously roached and separated from the entire magazine, but I think I might be able to fix it, and for a buck, I'm not going to pass up Nintendo Power. Now I have the power. I also picked this up. It's a wristband that says, I scored with the princess, and it's official Nintendo swag. Two games. I really didn't find that much that I wanted, but um, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. Is it Gekio? It's by uh, Natsume, and it appears to be a uh, shooting game. So, not really sure how that's going to be, but uh, he wanted like 23 bucks, which is pretty much retail for it. Um, might be a little bit less expensive, but hey, another shooter to add to the PlayStation library. Had to get up and get some Dreamcast games. I always have to go through his import section, and uh, I found this. It's a Virtual Fighter uh, 3 TL? 3 Tournament? I don't know. No. The Virtual Fighter 3TB, which I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's uh, special for um, the Virtual Fighter. I got most of them for uh, the Saturn, but I don't have, I don't think, any for the Dreamcast. Um, I think the only addition is it's got this. I don't know what Project Berkeley is, but um, I'm guessing it's probably a special edition of this. So. Could be like a tournament, could have some updated uh, graphics, um, but yeah, came with all the stuff. And then at a thrift store, I picked this up. I had this a while ago, I think I gave it to someone, I don't know if it was Kit, uh, 171 or if it was Gamer Emporium or it was someone else that I threw it in with, but I found a sealed copy of Cherok or Cherok U whatever you want to pronounce it. It's a uh, Atlas game, and uh, apparently it's like a racing game, but like an, a racing RPG game, which is really weird. Um, but I think it must play along the same lines of like Gran Turismo, how you can soup up your car, but I, I think it has some sort of uh, experience-based uh, leveling system that I'm not really too familiar with. Uh, but it looks colorful, and it's still in this security thing, and I think I got it for that day it was half, so I got it for like 250. Didn't switch the stickers. I'm not doing that no more. Thanks to uh, Ed T1138 or Ed or as we all know him, Ed with an exclamation point or one of the nerd masters or whatever he's calling himself these days, went on to Facebook and lo and behold, I think a lot of us fell into the same trap from Bree Software. They sent out a they were doing a uh, 55, I think 50 or 55 percent off uh, promo. And it actually ended that day, but uh, Ed let us all know about it. I went on and found a couple of games. Um, I picked up a copy of Iron Sword, uh, Wizards and Warriors 2. I already had this, but I got rid of all my NES games, really, and only kept about 20 of the ones I liked. And I actually have been starting to build up my collection again of NES games, so got to have Wizards and Warriors. And uh, I picked up a Sega Master System game. I really don't pick them uh, up that much, but I saw that, um, what was it, Nate from the Thrift Dwellers picked this up at one of his local thrift stores. I believe it was a Goodwill. 
Uh, he picked up Alter Beast for the Sega Master System. So I had to pick it up because Altered Beast is just one of those very few arcade games uh, growing up as a child that I have fond memories of playing and uh, just you know, kicking ass and becoming some other monster. Great. Going back to that same thrift store that I loved so much, I found a couple NES games one day. We got Dig Dug 2 and lo and behold Super Mario Bros. 3. So great score on these. I think four bucks a piece. I don't think I have this. I know I don't have this. I think I might have this, so I have a bundle Nintendo that I want to get rid of, and I might just throw this at it. But I did also find some Game Boy games. Found four Game Boy games, and um, they were all good ones too. Some of them weren't, like some of them were corny and they're still there, but I picked up a copy of Mylon Secret Castle, Alien vs. Predator, uh, Fortress of Fear, Wizards and Warriors 5? No, 10. Wizards and Warriors X, so I mean that's 10. I don't really knew that they had 10 of them out already. Uh, probably the best one uh, was a copy of Double Dragon or Battletoads Double Dragon. Um, unfortunately, the, the cart that it came in was kind of roached, so I replaced it, I took off the label, um, the label is, I had to take it off with a blow dryer and it's sort of coming up um, and the only available case I had was this yellowed one so I might have to replace it in the future but for right now it works. I found a Sega brand AC adapter for Model 2's and 32X, some RCA cables to go with that Nintendo. At that same Goodwill that I found that arcade stick for Street Fighter 15th anniversary. Um, I found a pair of Turtle Beach headphones for the Xbox and unfortunately um, they're, I mean these are not cheap um, by any means. Um, it did have both the, the battery cover but did not have the receiver or the cable that plugs into the receiver and into your audio which you can get for relatively cheap but the receiver is the thing that people want the most, and it's always like 20 bucks, and you can pretty much get a whole brand new setup that people sell for about 20 bucks, and this was only $3 for this. So, yeah, it's rock. Ground control to Major Tom. At one thrift store, I found a copy of Super Monkey Ball, Player's Choice on Nintendo GameCube, complete. I got a copy of Tube sliders on the GameCube, complete. Serious Sam 2 on the original Xbox. Uh, time Splitters, Future Perfect on the original Xbox. And I found a copy of Strikers 1945, which was apparently a blockbuster rental because they put an entire freaking label all over the disc. Um, they did have the back artwork for it, but unfortunately the manual is not existent, but it does have the front of it, so that wasn't bad. Good score. It's not a cheap game. It's a nice shooter. Um, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, 1944, 1943 for the Nintendo. So today I went thrifting and I found a lot of good crap. So the first thing I found that I'm always, in, uh, it's like an impulse buy, I always have to like buy this one PC game. It's Diablo 2. It's the battle chest. Um, it comes with strategy guide, the discs for Diablo 2, um, the expansion. Unfortunately, I don't think this one has the expansion, but I have like three extra copies of the expansion. And uh, they only wanted five bucks for it, so I thought for a 90% complete battle chest, which I already have the other Diablo 2 sealed. I just can't pass this stuff up. I'm like Ed. Ed, I saw you with your StarCraft and I had to had to get it. Found me a Game Boy Advance uh, connector cable for the GameCube, so you can connect games such like uh, Crystal Chronicles, uh, Wind Waker. They utilize this on, so you can play the game on your GameCube and also have added features on your Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advance. I found a iPhone, iPad, iPod cable. And I found cartridge games. Yes. Picked up six Super Nintendo games. 
We got Revolution X, which is a horrible, horrible, horrible port of a horrible arcade game starring none other than Aerosmith. Fucking horrible. Monopoly. Love me some Monopoly. We got uh, Pac-Man 2, uh, The New Adventures. Not a great one. Buster Bust Loose. Tiny Toons. We got The Miz, Pac-Man, and last but not least, one of my favorite, Paperboy 2. And they had four Sega Genesis games, which I usually don't pick up, but that Model 2 I'm going to bundle some of this stuff with. We got a copy of the Six Pack, which has got what? Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Super Hang On. Then you also got Sonic Classics, which I believe comes with three Sonic games. I don't know if it's uh, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3. I don't think it's that, but it might have Sonic Spinball or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Factory, which is not really a Sonic game, but it's in the same universe. Um, we got ah, Real Monsters Nickelodeon. Did you ever watch it? I did. I didn't like it. And Championship Pro-Am, which I'm hoping it's like RC Pro-Am, because that would be awesome on the Genesis. So, went to the dumpster and started rummaging through. They had a lot of bags, and it had rain, but luckily they had the cover on it. Um, and I went through a couple of bags, and in one bag, I found all this great stuff. Um, I found another uh, Wiimote cover. I have like five of these, but um, it's always nice to get extra grip so you don't throw it. Um, I don't know why I took this, but for some reason I did, and I don't know why, but um, the Manual for Oblivion and the map for Shivering Isles. And they had like the inserts and a blank case, and I should have taken that to have a complete but discless case. I don't know. I found a Pokemon Soul Silver case, complete with all the manuals and all that jazz. No game, unfortunately, but um, I guess it wasn't sold separately, so. That's already spoken for, so don't ask for it. Uh, but this is the thing I find freaking was ecstatic over. It's a PlayStation 3 wireless controller. As you can see, it does light up. And it had this sick-ass uh, braided uh, USB cable. It was hooked up to uh, you know, one of those uh, security things so you can't take it. So they must have had a display that had this. And uh, they just decided to throw it out for some reason. Um, I, don't, I haven't tried it, but it obviously powers up. So my guess is it actually works. That's awesome to get this and the cable for free. While it was in the store, I did pick up a game, a PSP game. Um, I only had limited funds, so I was there. Actually, for Gamer Emporium, picking up him a game. Uh, but I picked up the Trails in the Sky, The Legend of Heroes. It's a, another Xseed PSP game. Uh, was complete, so. Decided to keep adding PSP games like this to the collection because they're only going to get harder and harder to find and then they'll not be there anymore and if you didn't jump on it by, you know, the time you will actually want it, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. So last but not least, I got a package from none other than Gamer Emporium. Let's give it up for this guy. He is the master of trades on YouTube. Um, but he's slacking in his old age. He didn't really put that much tape on it. Um, but unfortunately, I think it's just enough. But luckily, I have my Leatherman, so we're rocking. We're rocking. The note. Wait, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna take a drink for this one. Mm. Yeah, it's quality beer. Anyways, greetings, crab man. Hope all is well in good will land. And I hope you're not dead, uh, bankrupt, or divorced. Yes, uh, in reference to your uh, Back to the Purge Part 2 video. Yes, I'm neither of those yet. Uh, here is the item you requested. Remember to bury the bone at home. And an extra uh, PS2 game is actually Castle Shikigami Shmup. Enjoy Gamer Emporium. Yes. So the extra that I just gave away was um, Mobile Light Force 2, which is actually, I guess, Castle Shikigami. And um, looks like I opened the case with my knife at the back and probably just ruined that, but oh, whatever, it's just the outside, so I'm not too worried about that. And uh, it's complete. 
Yeah, I have no idea why they chose Charlie's Angels for the Mobile Light Force games when they came to North America. Like, what the fuck, people? Look at all the PC Engine games. Look at the North American TurboGrafx-16 covers. They're freaking horrible. What the hell? Like, we, we just didn't like Asian shit back then? I don't know. He, uh, he saw my video when I picked up for Christmas. I got a top loader, but I didn't have a dog bone controller, but now I do. So thank you very much, Jason, a.k.a. Gamer Emporium. I'm looking at your stuff right now, so if you're seeing this video, I probably haven't shipped it out yet. But I will send extras for the wait, and as always, kudos, man. You're the best at trading on YouTube land. So yeah, guys, that was a lot. I'll, I'll, I'll raise one to that. Um, but as always, thanks for uh, just following me. If you had a good time, thumbs up. If you didn't have a good time, thumbs down. Comment below why you feel the way you feel, and maybe I will touch you with my reply. Um, no, I'm not going to touch you. Um, I wouldn't be able to touch you, and it probably would be in inappropriate. Um, but as always, guys, stay super sexy. Uh, make sure to uh, sub if you're not, and uh, check out Gamer Emporium. Check out Ed. Check out you know everyone that we're all sub to already. I'm sure. But as always, thanks to the community. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to people who donate every and all that is retro and gaming. This is Goodwill Hunter signing off.